a side of quail we haven't seen before. Hashtag harsh. Tell me about it. Can you imagine her being your mom? Nightmare. One day, I will come face to face with this quail, and I will have words for her. And the first word that comes to mind is... Stylish! Totally. Yeah, you're really awesome. awesome. And I love your shoes. What? I've never seen her below the waist. Hello, Adrian, Bryden, Cameron. Guys, uh, meet my mom. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Quail. It's Mrs. McAllister outside the lab. Now, have a good day at school. And remember, Michaela's always been a little socially challenged. Do your best to help her out. You know, up until third grade, she wouldn't leave the house without Mr. Fuzzy Bear. <laughs> remember, honey? Mom. Sorry. Love you, sweetheart. Well, that was more awkward. <laughs> Well, sketch, super sketch. These kids think we lied about being spies. What are you typing? I'm responding to the haters on my feed. Take that, Arcfire 22, boom! You've just been schooled. Wait, too much. No, I feel bad. JK, Arcfire 22, Winky Ghost, Happy Cat. <sighs> Having haters is hard. Oh no, you didn't, Beboop 16, frowny face, angry robot. Michaela, you look like an average high school student. And I mean that in a good way. Thanks. Oh, hey, Randy, how's your hamster Leonardo? He's buried in my backyard. Oh, hey, Taylor, congrats on giving up the nightlight. Do you know these kids? Oh, yeah, like the back of my hand. I sit up all night memorizing each student's face and personal background. Thought it'd help me blend in easier. You are wrong. Make sure you're a loca. Michaela, relax. You'll be fine, Mia. Better than fine. In fact, you should run for class president. You know the rules. Girls are no spy in school, which includes talking notebooks. Right. Fine, be that way. But I'm here if you need me. Look, I'm just not used to this whole being a regular civilian thing. I never spent much time in any one place. Each assignment took us to a new town. Well, now you're one of us. Oh, hey, Shelly, good luck with the LASIK. <clears throat> okay, now you're acting weird again. Wow. Bob Rye's phone. Like how I put our names together. Bobby, put Bry on. Sorry, but my cupcake is getting us cupcakes. Did you finish your 3D geometry sheet? <laughs> sure did. We've been bobbied. Oh. Just a little symbol of my unbridled affection. A symbol? <laughs> That's it! Bobby, thank you, thank you, thank you! Do us. Don't push it. We gotta figure this out ourselves. I might be able to block retro signal with a Faraday cage. A what cage? A metal cage that shields radio frequencies from being sent. We just need to find one. And I know where to get it. Hey, Devin. Think I could borrow that? Why? Mind if I don't tell you? Sounds shady. I like shady. Ooh! What is that? It's a gift for Devin's Nana. If I cover the antenna, the metal mesh from the skull will block the signal. Boom, that saved the drone. Now for the gas. If you heat nitrous oxide while it's releasing, it turns it into harmless oxygen and nitrogen, neutralizing it. And I've got the perfect way to heat it. I got this. Good thing Janitor Larry's still stuck in the 90s. <sighs> that should do it. 
I modified the regulator on the blower in order to heat the gas to 650 degrees. I call it my laughing gas hair blow dryer heating contraption thingy. You know, maybe you should just stop trying to name things. Either way, you lose, Retro. Dr. Tuttle's speech at Maywood Glen Academy last night was both inspirational and enlightening. Her new drone wowed the audience as it flew. Congratulations, girls. Even though we haven't located Retro yet, you still saved Dr. Tuttle's drone launch. Job well done on your first mission back. And we all got to meet her after her speech. It was the one time Bri was speechless. Go ahead, do your little dance. What? I'm not a stick in the mud. Go us! Go us! Go us! Go us! Hello again, Maywood Glen. Whoever ruined my plan to ruin Dr. Tuttle's launch should know that I'm the ruiner here. I ruin things, not you. I'm the destroyer of technology, and now you'll see what I can really do. I promise you, I will have the last laugh. We gotta stop this guy. I was right! Check it out. That's Black Star symbol. Yeah, but at this angle, look familiar? I don't get it. It's Havoc symbol too? Exactly! It's like Black Star and Havoc are somehow connected. And if Havoc is involved, that means that your old friend Carson Lazarus could be retro after all. Someone's locked us in here. That airlock is depressurizing! The oxygen levels are dropping. We'll run out of breathable air in minutes. What? No air? I'm gonna pass out. Oh, I'm gonna pass out. Wait a minute. That's it. The quarry candle. The what? Flight engineer Brad went over this. Weren't you listening? We'll take that as a no. She told us they're used as backup oxygen supply on airplanes, mine rescues, with firefighters. And on the International Space Station, case of an emergency. <laughs> it's made out of sodium chloride. When it's heated, it breaks down into oxygen and table salt. Totally harmless. <laughs> well, I know these two are smart, but how's the intern know all this? Uh, it's on my resume. It's how I got the job. We just have to pull this pin. It'll ignite what's inside and should generate enough oxygen to buy us more time. But is it safe? Flat engineer Bryant explained that it's wrapped in thermal insulation, protecting the equipment and, in this case, us. Oxygen level is rising. Nice job, but we've still got to get out of here. They now use heat strength and glass. If we had a glass cutter, we could cut the airlock window. Did y'all know when carbon is subjected to intense heat and pressure over long periods of time, it creates diamonds? Hardest substance on Earth? That's super cool, but can we save the geology lesson until we're breathing fresh air? My great granny's diamond necklace. She gave it to me for my last birthday. Gigi was the only thing tougher than this here diamond, which, as everyone here except probably Riker knows, can cut glass. And I have just what we need. Is that a power drill and super glue? What can I say? I like to be prepared. A diamond tipped cutting tool. Em, want to do the honors? to self. Use my status as a Space Inc. intern to put in a maintenance repair order. We're alive. We're alive. You girls rock. We did survive. But who was trying to make sure we wouldn't?
Dr. Crawford? Please hurry, Owl. I only jammed the camera feed to this office for one minute so you can look through Dr. Crawford's files. Relax, Addison. <laughs> you know, I'd pace if I had legs. Michaela, can I help you? Uh, no, ma'am. I was just dropping off these files you asked for. Thank you. Um, I, uh, actually have some others for Professor Cato, but I haven't seen him. Neither have I. I'm starting to get concerned. Would you like me to try to reach him? No, no, I'm, I'm sure he'll turn up. Oh, Michaela. You're doing a very nice job here. Thank you, Dr. Crawford. Keep it up. Start a search of Professor Cato's last known addresses. I will. Right after my bit break returns to normal. That was close. There you are. Two of Cafe Adam's sweet polyphenol teas to go. Enjoy! Very good, Rye. I'm just so excited. Thank you so much again for hiring me this summer. It's my pleasure, cariño. We're going to have so much fun. Totally. And with the extra money, I'm finally in that meditation class I've been wanting to take. Did you know that through MRI, scientists have found that meditation leads to enhanced creativity, better focus, lower anxiety, and a lasting sense of calm? I can't think of anyone who could use a little meditation more than you. Wow, this place is awesome. Adri, Bri, this is Tessa, and her mother, Miss Wallace. Bienvenidos al Café Atoms. Hi, Mr. Coyle. Hello, Bryden. Adrian. In honor of your first day at Destination Mars Camp, I'm going to make you all Café Atoms special cotton candy milkshake with liquid nitrogen ice cream. Sounds great. Warning, major brain freeze. <laughs> Has anyone been able to reach Michaela today? She's not answering her phone. No, I'm beginning to worry about her. She did take last night's fiasco pretty hard. Doesn't she also have her driver's license test coming up? Whew, talk about being stressed. Some meditative controlled breathing exercises will work for her about now. Breathe in through the nose, and out through the nose. In through the nose. <coughs> it's harder than it looks. 